Hello from Disney's Animal Kingdom. Today is what seems to be the first kind of fall day here in Orlando at Walt Disney World. So I'm gonna take advantage and visit what feels to be the hottest park at Disney World on the coolest day. So let's go have some fun in Animal Kingdom. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> now Sean is sadly not able to join us on this little park adventure. He is at work right now, but I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to come to my favorite Disney World park when the weather in Orlando is this beautiful. So we're just still gonna have a fun day. I'm about to meet up with Casey and Mr. Morrow. I think he has something planned for us to do. So let's head out and see what we got. And here he is, here's Nate. And you guys let me know, have you ever seen Nate in a long sleeve shirt before? Oh, fancy. I mean, this is what I'm greeted by, Nate in a long sleeve. It's, it's like a, a rare, fancy flannel. It's a rare sighting here. And he's brought over the Scar Cupcake. This is a red velvet cupcake with some marshmallow filling and I think a marshmallow chocolate buttercream as well. It looks pretty decent. Let's take a look at the inside. Nate has kind of cut it open there. And there's that marshmallow uh, filling that we were talking about and that red velvet cake. The, the frosting looks pretty frozen solid. It doesn't look much like frosting. It looks like a, uh, a giant piece of frozen fudge on there. So I've got a bite here with some cocoa pearls, some marshmallows, some chocolate frosting, and the red velvet cake. Let's try it out. The chocolate frosting is completely frozen. Um, and it's like a pretty, I'd honestly say it's maybe like a below average tasting cupcake. And I think it was what, around six dollars? Six bucks. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend this one. Now I do love Flame Tree and I love sitting back here. It's so beautiful. However, these birds, these birds are wild. If you do sit back here, oh, you always gotta be careful. They are ruthless. They will steal your food. They will peck at your leg. They are crazy. Um, and I also can't remember the last time I sat out here and was not sweating. So this is really nice. It is only right to spend a fall cool weather day here in Disney World with some Starbucks. And I have never had a pumpkin spice latte before. Can you believe that? I, I usually get the pumpkin cream cold brew, but I've never had a pumpkin spice latte. And that is the quintessential fall drink. So I think today's the day to try one. And here it is, my PSL. I can't believe I've never tried this. I am gonna confess to you guys that I have already, in fact, had a pumpkin cream cold brew this morning. So this is my second coffee of the day. So please pray for my stomach but I've acquired the bag. And what better place to try my first pumpkin spice latte than in Disney World? Can't think of one. Let's go. Okay. I'm trying to process here. I like it. However, the pumpkin cream cold brew still has my heart. I don't know, it's it's a lot better. I, I also do prefer like iced coffee, beverages more than warm ones, but it's pretty good. Not sure if I'd get it again because I'm more of a pumpkin cream cold brew gal. I really can't get over the fact that I'm walking around Animal Kingdom right now in jeans, a long sleeve shirt, and drinking a hot coffee. If you told me that I'd be doing this like a week ago, I would have been like, you're crazy, it's too hot. I, I can't believe how cool it is out today. What's what's the temperature? I think the high is like 68. This goes down to the 50s. Yeah, yeah, this morning it was freezing. And I actually haven't ridden Flight of Passage since we did the VIP tour a couple months ago. So it's really it's really been a while here. And this is one of my favorite rides, so I'm excited to enjoy it again. And if you haven't seen that vlog from the VIP tour, make sure you check it out. We have a vlog here on YouTube. And this right here is arguably one of the best views in any Disney World park here. It's in the Flight of Passage queue and it is absolutely beautiful. Let me turn you around so you can see the other side too. Wow. Lighting is not too great, but look at that. Now that my pumpkin spice latte has cooled down a bit, I'm able to enjoy it a lot more. As it's cooled down, I like it a little more, but still not better than my pumpkin cream. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. It's been too long since I've ridden that. It is truly one of my favorite attractions here. And it is so immersive um, from the smells. You can feel the Banshee breathing. I absolutely love that ride. It is for sure one of my top five favorite attractions at Disney World. And speaking of top five attractions at Disney World, let's share ours. What do you think, Nate? Soren. Okay, you're going first. Soren? I love Soren. 
Haunted Mansion, People Mover, Carousel Progress, Expedition Atlas. There you go, that's five. Mine are, I have some of the same. So mine are, number one is Carousel Progress, and then the rest is not in any order. Flight of Passage, Guardians, Cosmic Rewind, Living with the Land, and Dinosaur. If I need to grab something quick to eat here in Animal Kingdom, I'll head right over here to Satuli Canteen, but I think we've got a little something uh, more fun here up our sleeve. We are gonna go dine at Yak and Yeti, one of my favorite Disney restaurants. I absolutely love it there. So let's go. On our way over to Yak and Yeti, we heard some characters coming by and they're still doing these fun little character. They call them flotillas. And we've got Scrooge McDuck and Launchpad McQuack. Launchpad looks like he's driving out there. There they go. I wonder how much longer these will stick around for. And just behind Scrooge and Launchpad, it looks like we have another little boat parade coming by. We've got Pocahontas and Miko. You know what would be really cool that I just thought of? If they did a whole boat parade, like these were just following each other, but what if we had a, a bunch of different cool boat floats? As I'm walking around Animal Kingdom, I have noticed that I've made the mistake of forgetting my sunglasses. And I know it's probably a rare sight to see me outside during the daytime without sunglasses. I I don't know what it is. I need sunglasses when I'm outside. And I guess I was thinking just cause it's cold, it wouldn't be sunny. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that, but I could have definitely used those shades today. And we're coming around to the tree of life again. And I keep on thinking of these new ideas for Animal Kingdom. My new idea since I'm here. Oh, here's some even more characters. Mickey and Minnie with Answer the Call. Let's wave at them. Oh, and Pluto. They're just behind. I got distracted. But what I was thinking, uh, what if they built like a lounge down in one of these areas here? There's so many like little seating areas, either across by Tough to Be a Bug over there or somewhere over here closer to Asia in between Africa and Asia. What about a lounge down here on the water so we could look at the Tree of Life? Because it is such an amazing view down there when you go in any of these areas. So here's my two ideas for Animal Kingdom. A boat parade with like full on parade floats, but they're boats and a little lounge overlooking the Tree of Life. How does that sound? This is kind of one of those examples for an area that I was talking about that would be perfect for a little lounge. Look, just add a couple, a little bar here, serve some beverages, a couple light bites. It would be perfect. I've made our way over here and I want to let you guys in on a little like Disney dining secret when you want to dine here at Yak and Yeti. You can actually purchase a Landry's card, which is what I have, and you can walk up at any time of the day and be seated, usually within five minutes, sometimes 10, um, but it guarantees you a spot, even if there's no reservations left on the app or anything, you can always dine here. It's only $25 to join the membership, and it's a lifetime membership. It's just a $25 one-time payment, and it basically pays for itself. You get a $25 welcome reward, so there you go, it's already paid for, we can use it at Yak and Yeti, and then you get a $25 birthday reward every year for your birthday. And then and every $250 you spend, you also get $25. So like I said, you actually make money by buying a Landry's card and I love having it. It makes me, it makes me eat here a lot more often too. Three minutes into our wait with that Landry's um, card seating and our table has been called already. Like I said, only three minutes, that's crazy. And here is the specialty beverage menu. And this is the best drink deal in all of Disney World. $16 for a shaker full of margarita, passion fruit margarita. And you get to keep the shaker that says Yak and Yeti on it. I think it is so cool and I've gotten it before. It serves about three and a half, four margaritas out of that if you fill your rocks glass. So really great deal. Along with the awesome drink menu, there is great food here. And we have a brand new special menu actually. I eat tuna nachos, those are always there. The Thai basil chicken is new. Szechuan salmon and shrimp, Mongolian beef, pork, bibimbap. I definitely pronounced that wrong. And Thai lemongrass shrimp. And just by looking at this, I, I might have to change what I usually get. I'm kind of stuck between the Thai basil chicken and the pork belly, I'm just gonna call it a pork belly bowl. I might have to ask our waiter which one is better between the two, because I don't think I could decide. And here we go, we are starting with the Korean fried chicken. And I feel like I've had most things on the menu here at Yak and Yeti, but I've never actually tried this. Nate already dug in, you said it was good, right? It's good, I like the sauce, I like that maple syrup. Yeah, it's a, 
It's got a maple gochujang sauce on it, I saw. So obviously, we're not eating that. Take that right off the plate. No, no, no. We gotta Get hide that it. out of here. I'll put it by you. Throw it across the <laughs> Let's go in for a bite of this little, little Korean fried chicken tendy. The gochujang maple sauce is the perfect combination of sweet and spicy. Definitely not too spicy, so if you're worried about that, I think it'll be good. It's super crunchy, the breading is excellent. I have already dug in here. I might have forgotten to fill, <laughs> but the pork belly bowl is absolutely delicious. There was a really good soy marinated egg, which I love, some pickled cucumbers, we got some kimchi, carrots, the pork belly is crispy and delicious. And it came with this uh, spicy sauce that you pour on there. It added a really nice kick. I enjoy this a lot. And Nate, how was your lemongrass shrimp? Delicious. So good. Very and lemony. The lemony. Sh fresh. The shrimp were huge too. Yeah, I know. They were I gigantic. Com I'd compare them to the size of the shrimp that you get from the boathouse. So Cortez. definitely a good portion. Yeah, Cort wild. Sea of Cortez caught yep. shrimp. <laughs> and that is gonna wrap up our day here at Animal Kingdom. We ended with a great meal at Yak and Yeti. I'm telling you, you can never go wrong with anything you order there. Everything is always excellent, super fresh, great quality, great prices. Definitely gotta check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you're subscribed.